My name is Benjamin Lewis. I'm the owner of 216 Muscle Training and Fitness in Cleveland, Ohio, and the CEO of It's Just Words Media. But I want you guys to do me a favor real quick. I want you to pull your phones out. And I want you to pull up Google, and I want you to type in Benjamin Lewis. Did, did, did my face come up for anybody? Anybody? Did my face come up? Do y'all see me? I'll put money on it that y'all don't nab one of y'all saw my face come up. You can scroll a little bit. You, you, no, no Benjamin Lewis, no Benjamin Lewis. Y'all don't, delete that. Type in 216 muscle. The number two, the number one, the number six, and the word muscle. Y'all see me now? That's the power of branding. Chris just said, you will be in rooms before you even enter them. That was amazing because that segues directly into what I'm about to speak on today. How do you create a brand with just the phone in your hand? 2017, I had lost my job three times over a four year period. And I said I was tired of just relying on corporate America to provide for me and my family at the time, right? So how do I find a way to transition myself with the tools and the expertise that I had gained over 20 years with just a high school diploma to work myself up to an executive in corporate America? So I sat at my kitchen table and I'm just writing down a 216 fit. No, that ain't it. 216 training, no, that, 216 muscle. Now, for those of you that don't know, 216 is the area code of Cleveland, Ohio. And if you look at the word muscle, the last three letters are CLE, the abbreviation of Cleveland, Ohio. So I stacked it. I put the 216, the NUS, replaced the U, with the state of Ohio, if you look at it, it kind of looks like a U. And then the CLE. And I created a company, 216 Muscle Branding and Apparel Limited. And I started posting on Instagram and selling shirts, most of which went to my family and friends in the beginning. And I thank all of them for the support. <laughs> and the business was doing what it needed to do. It was paying for itself, but it wasn't growing. And one of my boys, who happens to be here today, sent me a text message and said, uh, I need you to get your stuff together. So I called him, and I'm like, what, what, what you talking about? He said, pull, pull up your email. I said, OK. He said, I got a present for you. So I pull up my email, and I started crying. Because after 20 years in corporate America, you know, when you do something every day, there's things that we know and that we realize that we take for granted. I had a business, right? I didn't have a brand because it wasn't taken care of the way it should have. He bought my dot-com for me and gifted it. So now as my business is taking off, somebody could have very well bought my domain and held it ransom. And I wasn't ready for that. And he said, "Now nah, you got something that's good. It's catchy, but I need you to get your together. So from that day forward, I took my phone in my hand, and yes, I'm that guy. For those of you that go to the gym, my tripod is set up. I'm recording myself work out. Because what started as a clothing line has now grown into an international fitness and training company. I've got clients all over the world. I got clients that I train virtually, I got clients that I train in person, and I now own a brick and mortar gym in Cleveland, Ohio. But the way I did that, thank you, thank you. The way I did that was I had to become the brand. So at the time, I was probably about 255, 260 pounds. I had a little more stomach than I got today. I'm about 30, 40 pounds lighter. But every day I got up at 4 a.m. I was in the gym by 5, training recording and posting. I would then go to work. And on my lunch break, I was in the gym on the stair stepper for 30 minutes. I would get off work 
And I had then, at this point in time, I was living in Chicago. If anybody's ever lived in Chicago, a two-bedroom apartment cost about, uh -huh. and I still had a mortgage in Cleveland. So I picked up a part-time job as a personal trainer. So now I'm recording and I'm posting myself with my clients. But I know the day that I realized my company was a brand. In March of 2018, I went to Columbus, Ohio for the Arnold Classic, the largest fitness expo in the world. And I'm walking through. And I, I don't think nobody really knows me. I'm going to just go. I got my shirt on. At the time, I'm a 250-pound dude. I got these muscles. I'm going to just walk around. And somebody saw me. He said, you 216 muscle. I said, yeah, I don't this. I didn't really respond like that because, you know, I had to play cool. But on the inside, it was like, you know me. Right? So, and he came up to me and he said, man, can I take a picture with you? And da 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 da, -da whatever. On that day, March 4th, 2018, I realized that my company had transitioned into a brand. And all I did was take my phone, set up social media. If you Google Benjamin Lewis, well, not nothing, dang. <laughs> if, you keep, if you keep scrolling, you'll eventually find me. <sighs> But if you Google 216 Muscle, be the brand. And what became my moniker was, I got up every day at 5 a.m. I was working out three times a day. I was living in Chicago. I would drive back to Cleveland every weekend. I was in powerlifting competitions. I was in CrossFit competitions. Anything I could do to put my brand out there, I was doing. So now, you all know me as Benjamin Lewis. The world knows me at 216 Muscle. And I can help you take your business to a brand. I have an eight week brand building boot camp that you can visit 216muscle.com and register for. Now, I need y'all to repeat after me Be the brand. 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 Oh, y'all good listeners. So now I need y'all to go on all y'all social media sites and follow. 216 Muscle and help me continue to grow this brand globally. And as my moniker has become over the years, if you just get up and do it, it's just work. Thank you.